Hello and welcome or welcome back if you're returning. My name is Burr and if you are a fan of MMOs, RPGs, JRPGs, obscure video games, art, music, uh, dogs, life, uh, then you should subscribe because that is what we do here. Also, don't forget to like this video because that super helps us combat the algorithm. Very little bastards had a hold up, had us fooled, eh? Shame their wisdom is bollocks. I mean, really now, love? That's what you need to harness the abyss? I mean, I suppose there's something to be said for caring deeply for your charge, but... No. No, I will not give those cretins even a sliver of credit. This was an utter waste of time, and that's that. Still, I am glad to have come to an understanding with Riel. We should return to Ishgard. The hour of the trial draws close. Oh yeah, that's right. We have a trial by combat. I demand a trial by combat. Come along, Riel. Well, hello, cat boy. Hey, cats! I was about Riel's age when I came to Ishgard. My parents, they... They said we would find a better life here. When the Temple Knights we had shown mercy returned, they let us choose the order in which we would die. That would be their mercy to us, they declared. I watched my parents kneel in the dirt. Look away, they said, but I could not. At last, when it was my turn, I knelt and prepared to follow them into death. I closed my eyes, but when I opened them, a man in black stood before me, hand outstretched, and so I took it. Defend the meek, punish the wicked. Mayhap it was all but a convenient excuse to indulge in vengeance. She deserves better than me, but there is no one else. One more battle, Bear. Let's see it done. Mayhap in this final battle I can serve as my master intended. Oh. Countess Istrid's missive arrived while you were away. We're to meet her in the Western Highlands, away from prying eyes. She's gone to great lengths to conceal her husband's deeds, so it comes as no surprise that she preferred to settle this in secret. Burr, I... I don't know what's waiting for us out there. But if aught should happen to me, pray keep Riel safe. Right, then. I believe she wanted a word with you before we left. We wouldn't have made it this far without you, Burr. I want you to know that I'm truly grateful for the time we shared. You, Sidurgu and Frey, taught me so much about the world, about what it means to fight for another, and what it means to fight for yourself. We're going to finish this together, the three of us. Not else to say, really. To Twin Pools, then. Let's not keep the Countess waiting. Twin Pools. He glows. Phew. We did it. I wonder how many men will she bring to kill the abomination? That's a good question. Seems we're early. Well, it's not as though I have pressing business elsewhere. Enjoy a moment's respite with me, Burr. Hi, Viking! Respite. Okay, a wise decision. You have his eyes, his nose, his lips. Every time I look at you, I see more and more of him, and it sickens me. Riel is not her father. You had no right to punish her for what he did. Who are you to stand in judgment of me? I have every right. I bore that monster into this world, and by the fury, I shall send it to the seventh hell. It's not how that works. If you're so bloody fond of it, you can follow it there. Just us now. No one else. Remember phrase conjury. Protect us, and we'll protect you. Right then. But we got her. 
<laughs> Dab you, get get out of my way. Why? Why? Why do you care so much what happens to it? You're not the first person to ask me that. <sighs> Once, you might have understood. <gasps> For everything that you are, that you have done, you are still her mother. Go. We shall not meet again. Ugh. Oh, but we will. We will, Knight. I promise you that. I will follow you to the ends of the world if I must. So long as she, so long as it, lives, I must. Don't you see, you fool? The Fury wills it! The Fury wills it! Okay, she's nuts. She lost her damn mind. Riel? How great your love for her. Far greater than any you ever bore me. For a long time I prayed for forgiveness. I prayed you would take me in your arms and hold me as you did before. But I know that shall never come to pass. <laughs> I will pray for your mother that you might find peace in her halls. Oh, hello, Nay. Receive of this uh, of us this woman, your humble servant. Raise her up to your bosom and grant her glory everlasting. Oh, dear. <gasps> oh, wow. <laughs> So what now? <laughs> we go back to Ishgard. Together. As you wish. Huh. She totally deserved that. It all seems so simple in retrospect. The moment I stopped trying to find the answer, there it was. All that anger, all that rage, born of a fervent desire to protect that which we hold most dear. So you are still committed to your path, then. And you, if you are happy. You'll need to talk to me more, and listen. I can't stand the silence, you know? <laughs> There's no shame in sharing the weight, Sid. We can bear it together, for ourselves, and for others. Right, then. <laughs> the two of us will manage on our own birth. There may be others who know of Riel's heritage, but if they come, we will be ready. Granted, we could simply leave Ishgard, but that would leave the people at the mercy of the powers that be. I cannot do that now, and neither can Riel, I think. We all need a cause, Burr. So what will yours be? For who will you stand? For my friends. And so you shall. To walk the path is to suffer, to sacrifice. Justice demands no less, but we must never lose sight of why we chose to walk it. God help me, those Moogles were onto something, weren't they? 
Hopper, fellow master of the dark arts, and yet that is but one of the many faces you wear. Slayer of gods, rider of dragons, savior of Ishgard, a hero by any measure who stood against Nidhogg on the steps of faith when others fled. A hero who walks in light and fights for great causes, and a knight who walks in darkness and fights for the forgotten. A contradiction, some might say. Rubbish, I say, but you tell me, do you yet walk the path? So long as innocents suffer, I will not forsake the abyss. Yeah. <laughs> I thought not. Then let us speak as comrades. Ishgard has seen much change in recent days, and many proclaim it to be the dawning of a new era of peace and prosperity. An enlightened age, yet as we both know, the brighter the light, the deeper the shadows. As dark knights, we must remain vigilant for injustice and be ever ready to defend the weak and downtrodden. Now more than ever. It has been a while since we patrolled the streets of our fair city, felt the cobbles beneath our boots and so forth. A tour from the top might be in order. Why don't we start at the last vigil? Well, this da, da, da. As you look up for Tom Banner, do you but reflect upon your time in Ishgard? The comrades with whom you traveled, and those lost along the way. Who? You seem distracted. Ah, right. You were a ward of House Fortop. Once upon a time. <laughs> no, I suppose not. What? Huh? Damnedest thing, but I swear I heard something in your pack break. <gasps> oh no! Bloody hells, is that your soul crystal? What happened to the other half? Forgive me. It seems I am the one responsible. <gasps> I do not know you, boy. Name yourself. He's so pretty. Mist, my lord. Who? I'm no lord, and you're no mist. Don't think I wouldn't know a bastard of the broom by sight. I have a power, a power which I can use to help those in need. Alas, this power requires a tremendous quantity of ether. I thought to draw on natural sources nearby, but in so doing, I stole a portion of that contained within your crystal. Forgive me. Please forgive me. I will return it to you, I promise, but I must first ask that you allow me to use a portion. What the heck? Mist, was it? Who do you want to help? Anyone? Everyone? Look around you. Is not this world filled with sadness and despair? If I can free but a single person from their burdens. He means well enough. Why don't we help him find someone in need and give him a chance to use his power? Oh, bloody brilliant. Let's believe the mysterious boy with the mysterious power who mysteriously stole a portion of her soul crystal. How mysterious. What could possibly go wrong? Well, it's your crystal, Burr. Either we deal with the boy here and now, or we go along with his plan. And since you're not reaching for your sword, I gather it's the latter. Congratulations, boy. He's so... So grumpy. <laughs> you get your wish. We're not like to find any poor unfortunate souls here, so I suggest we head to Foundation. And if we find no one suitable there, you are to return what you stole at once. Understood? Yes, my lord. Thank you for placing your trust in me. <laughs> well, you have my assurances that the remaining funds will be delivered soon. Surely that is enough to convince you to resume work. I've got a score of clients clamoring for my services. Clients willing to pay in full in advance. I'd be a fool to put you ahead of them. I understand that, I do, but it has been an eternity since we first brokered this arrangement. And many of the clients of whom you speak have come to you but recently. I know this to be true. 
<sighs> it's what they to aid the scholasticate the lady, but you. You've got to understand me position here. Bloody politics it is. No man lifts a chisel till we're paid in full. I'm sorry, but that's the way it's got to be. A blessed evening to you. Oh, I beg your pardon. I did not notice you standing there. As you may have overheard, I am funding the restoration of the statue of Saint Sa Saint Valio Valero Valeroyant. <laughs> and as you may have guessed, it is not going well on account of my insufficient funds and my family's growing infamy. My cousin is, was, Sir Ignace de Visnant of the Heaven's Ward. He served the Archbishop faithfully, together with his sworn brothers, great goodly men who were complicit in terrible crimes, if Sir Emmerich and this warrior of light are to be believed. <laughs> Ignace was distraught when he learned the statue had been destroyed by the Dravidians. He took it upon himself to champion its restoration, but because of these tales, others are reluctant to involve themselves. I do not know, nor care, if Sir Emmerich speaks the truth. Ignace was my cousin and a man of the fury, and I will honor him by completing his legacy. Or so I once believed. Perhaps it is indeed beyond me. All right, I found your person in trouble. That was easy. We found someone, didn't we? I knew it. I knew we would. I can help her. Yes, yes, I will make it right. I have the power. Come, let us not keep this poor woman waiting. Is this child a friend of yours? The way he stares at me is somewhat... Do you wish to see your cousin again? I... Well, yes, I'd love to see Ignace again. More than anything. But I know I will not. He walks in Halone's halls, I am certain. Think of him. Think of his face. Of his smile. Of his laugh. Remember every moment you shared. Every memory. And hold that image of him in your mind's eye. And then go to a quiet place you shared where no one will come. Wait for me there. I really don't understand what this is all about, but... Since you seem so earnest, I will trust in you and do as you ask. There is a garden to the south of the tribunal, of which we are both fond. I pray you will explain all to me when this is finished. Go with her. I will go to Sudurgu and Riel. Bring them with me. Then, you will all understand what I can do and why you must help. That's a promise. Ah, uh, your friend has arrived. He has brought companions, I see. No, it cannot be. Huh, I'll say it. Ignace, is it really you? Oh, praise the Lord, you're alive, you're alive. My dear cousin, how it warms my heart to see you in good health. I pray you will forgive me for my lengthy absence. Don't be foolish. There is only joy to see you returned. Come, we must go to your father and mother at once. How will they, how they will weep at the sight of you? I cannot. Better for them to mourn me as the son who gave his life in service to his archbishop and his home. I have heard that you yet labor to see the statue of St. Valera... Uh, <laughs> I can't say it. <laughs> Restored. Know that I am grateful beyond measure. I I am undeserving of your praise, cousin. For all my efforts, the statue remains a shattered ruin. But seeing you here, so full of light and life, fills me with renewed conviction. I will see it through, I swear to you. And if you have indeed done the things they say, then perhaps it will earn you a measure of forgiveness. I love you, cousin. Now and ever after. Look after my parents and yourself. I don't know how you did it, but thank you for bringing him back to me. But you must know he is not safe here. I pray you help him to flee the city. <clears throat> She's right. Ishgard is no place for a man of the Heaven's Ward. We will sneak him out of the city. The fewer the better. Meet us at Falcon's Nest after. We have much to discuss. Okay. I'm so confused. For fear of being seen by the sentries, I bade the others go on ahead. We should hurry. The further they take Ignace from Millie, the weaker he will become. I pray we are not too late. Onward. Ho. Oh. Swirling abyss. Well, that looks inviting. Hmm. 
Forgive me, forgive me. I should have known the magic would not sustain itself much longer. That which you see before you is Ignaz. What remains of him? I can give the memories form. I can breathe them full of life and return them to their loved ones. But as the memory fades, so too does the magic. Ether, formless and free, that which I took I used to make Ignaz. And Millie, whole. Draw your sword. Reclaim that which was lost. Consume the abyss with soul eater. Fancy. It is finished. Good. I've had enough of this farce. Conjuring a simulacrum of a bloody night of the heavens ward in the middle of Ishgard? Fury, take me. You are a fool. We're lucky to be alive. Your soul crystal is restored, then. Uh... <laughs> or not. We had an agreement, boy. You were returned... You were to return that which you stole. Forgive me, forgive me. I returned to you that which was used to giving us life, but as for the remainder... Four more times. This is... This is a lot. <laughs> it is within my power to do this four more times. Four more times and you shall be made whole. You have my word. For a boy with such an incredible power, you are remarkably helpless. Not only did you rob Burr of her ether, you imposed upon her to find your people in need. You want to do good? You want to be a hero? You want to help people? Then why aren't you better prepared? I... I will never be a hero. I only wanted to help. It is not death itself we fear, but the unfinished story. The promise of what could have been. It is enough to break a heart. And a woman. The shattered pieces of a life will never come together again. But if a glimpse of their loved ones grants them the peace they deserve, then I must. I must. It is your decision, Burr. You are the victim. We'll be positive about it. Like maybe. Thank you, thank you. Together we will make them whole. We're not going anywhere, Mist. Even Sid. He may look and act like a chocobo's arse, but he means well. <laughs> fine, fine. I'm only trying to put the fear of the gods into the little shite. But by all means, go ahead and undermine my authority. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Anyway, I'd rather not freeze to death out here in the snow. Let's return to Falcon's Nest and discuss what to do next. Respect my authority! Just what I needed. Another child to look after. Am I a dark knight or a nursemaid? Even I don't know anymore. <sighs> but times, they are ever-changing. And perhaps we dark knights must change with them. Long-held truths are become lies and villains heroes. Though I should be glad if I never have to deal with another hero again. <laughs> She's like, hey. No offense, of course. But you are the exception that proves the rule. The righteous are all too uncompromising, and woe betide the man who offends their delicate sensibilities. If anything, I say you are too accommodating, but it is your ether and soul crystal at stake. Four times he swears, but we shall hold him to it. Together. In the meantime, you may as well get some rest or attend to other matters. These two can keep themselves company. Maybe I'll find somewhere to take a nap, or a tavern to have a drink. I need a drink. Yeah, so I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. If you liked this video, please like this video, because that'll help gather more folks to the video of the channel. We are aiming for 1k, so we're almost there. Also, if you are new and you haven't yet, please subscribe. Uh, we have a Discord link that is very, very fun. That link will be in the description underneath this video. And I also have all my other social media links and stuff that will be under there as well. And also, I do have a Patreon if you're interested. That link is below, and that does help <laughs> get us uh, to support the channel so I can be here and do more stuff with you guys. All right, from uh, all of us to all of you. <laughs> Bye.